On Christmas Day, my kids got an error message that their PlayStation was full. They've been really good kids these last two months, and I want to help them out. So today, I gotta figure out how to install an SSD in this PlayStation 5. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure the PlayStation is completely powered off. So hit the power, then click turn off PS5, and wait till the light completely turns off. Once that's off, I'm gonna unplug any wires or cables connected to the PlayStation. Now remove the stand and lay the PlayStation down so the logo faces the ground and the disk drive is on the bottom right. I'm gonna lift upwards on the left hand corner while pushing to the right so the cover slides right off. On the back side of the cover are these little tabs that hold the cover in place and they'll break if you try to pull it straight up instead of sliding it. After cleaning off the dust, I located the protective SSD plate and I'm gonna remove it by taking out the screw with a Phillips screwdriver. With that screw loosened, I'm going to set it aside so it doesn't get lost, and then remove the protective cover. Underneath the metal cover, I'm going to find a smaller screw and a little metal spacer that looks like a donut. I'm going to take out this second screw, but when I do, I'm going to be careful that I don't bump the spacer because it could get lost. After I've carefully set those aside, I can now take out my new SSD. Note that Sony requires your M.2 drive to be Gen 4 with a read speed of 5500 megabytes per second. They also require your M.2 drive to have a heat sink so it doesn't get too hot. I'll have all the requirements from Sony listed below, but to make life easier just get this Western Digital Black SSD because it has everything you need and it works fantastic. This SSD is an M.2 2280 so it's going to be installed in the 80mm slot. I'm going to put the spacer in first. Then I'm going to carefully push in the SSD at a very slight angle until I feel it click and the half circle notch aligns perfectly with the metal spacer. I'll put a little pressure on the SSD and then I'll tighten it down with a screw. With that screw tightened, the SSD is now installed so I'm going to put everything back together starting with this metal plate. There's a slight edge on the metal plate that will help it lock in place so once it's set I can tighten it down with a screw. Now I'm good to install the plastic cover by aligning the tabs to the notches on the PlayStation, then sliding it left until it locks in place. Before I turn it on, I'm going to clean up all the dust so my fans stay clean, then I'm going to hook up all the wires. With everything connected, I'm going to turn on the PlayStation and select Format M.2 SSD. On the next few screens, I'm going to hit OK and the PlayStation will boot up to the home screen. Once it's on the home screen, I'm going to go to Settings. Then I'll select storage. In that sub menu, I'm gonna scroll down to install location. Then I'm gonna change the settings from console storage to M.2 SSD storage. Now everything will save to the new SSD. The final check is to close that menu and go to M.2 SSD storage, and I can see that I have two terabytes available. And now I'm able to be a cool dad and surprise my kids with a PlayStation that's finally working again. And as always, if this video helped you, please go out and help someone else. Thanks for watching and have a great day.